So one of my favorite things about Willow Wind is that we teach kids how the world really is. At a young age, the kids understand that there are people out there who have less than them and whose lives aren't nearly as easy as theirs. But the best part about it is that when we teach them those things, they aren't scared, they, they want to help other people. Being kind to me is putting others' needs before yours. Being kind is being good to others. Being kind makes you smile. Being kind is respecting others and helping people. Sharing your toys or giving someone a turn before you when you want a turn. Being kind means you have to be nice, respectful, caring, and kind to everyone and everything. Being kind is something special to everybody. Developing a culture of kindness is what allows our students to be comfortable learning and growing and making mistakes. My first year of teaching, um, and for my 24th birthday, I had decided that I wanted to do um, 24 random acts of kindness. My kids and I all thought of 24 random things to do for people in our community, in our classroom, in our school, um, and the experience was really awesome. And so it just became a tradition when I moved to Iowa City and worked at Willowind. Um, it was the first thing that I wanted to do that year and it just kind of spread throughout the whole school and Willowind just took it and ran with it and it's become bigger and bigger each year. to the community and we're going to do all sorts of random acts of kindness. Tweets with no. Good. Have a nice day. No. Cards full of fire station. Feet full of homeless. Sweet pack chocolate sandwich. Our mission is 300 racks. 30 days. One of our core virtues is giving, and uh, I think it's very important to do activities specifically toward that. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and it's a service learning project to help out people in need. So we went to the crisis center and we took our food and blankets that we had made some blankets by tying them together. And then we also brought food that we had collected from our food drive and they weighed all the food. It added up to 200 pounds. And then we helped them sort it into different categories. So our group went to Walden Place and helped out the elderly by playing games with them and reading to them and drawing with them. When I was in my group for Martin Luther King Day, we went to the children's hospital to deliver toys. We had a bake sale and we raised money to buy some stuff here at Target. Our group is buying some books and other people are buying DVDs or buying books for kids in the hospital though, so they can have something to do. We teachers can promote the culture of kindness, but it's truly the children who make it come alive. If they didn't embrace it the way they did, it, it wouldn't have taken off like this. 